There's people here that's so much wealth, but people that have a lot of money and then they go and sell shit on eBay. They have enough. Why are you selling that? Give it away. Give it. Give it to a church. Give it to the youth center down the road. I don't get that. Anyway, I'm very passionate about that. Hello, my friends. Okay, this is it. This is a video that I've been talking about. I'm going to share with you my plan. For me now, it's like I love dancing every day. I love it. And I know that you dance with me because you share that joy. But what do I love? love more well you know my friends my family the obvious but more than dancing it's not even more it would be on par with dancing is giving and I have created a way where I can I can um, marry the two together I'm going to dance every day as I do but then I'm going to start giving away something every week now let me explain that I give away everything you know my clothes my children's clothes <laughs> not off their back. When they've grown out of them or I have things that are sitting there that I haven't worn for six months, it's gone. I am not a hoarder, I clear out continuously. So it's clothes, there's things in my kitchen, there's when we were living in our little flat, I gave away that whole flat. Every piece of furniture in that went to someone that knew someone that needed it, whether it was a bed, a sofa, or it went to a church, it went to a charity, or it went to friends that knew friends that, that needed whatever it was I was giving away. I have so much that I give away constantly and I do it on a weekly basis. And that's not like, oh, look at me, I just give so much. It's what I do. My hand is open. My hand is always open. A mother taught us that. We grew up with not a lot, but we were so rich with love, you know? And there's people out there that don't have enough. Remember, there's always someone that has less than what you have. I never sell anything. I give it away because we have enough. There is a lesson for people out there that have enough. If you can walk away with this is, and I see it, there's people here that's so much wealth everywhere, every city, and there's so much poverty, you know, it's, it's so extreme. But people that have a lot of money and then they go and sell shit on eBay. They have enough, why are you selling that? Give it away, give it, give it to a church, give it to the youth center down the road, give it. You know, I just, I don't get that. Anyway, I'm very passionate about that. So what do you have to do? Okay, first you have to follow me on Instagram and you do have to follow me on YouTube. The link's in my bio. And that is to grow the community. The larger the community, the more people that we can reach that may need what I have to give. You need to tell me why you want what I'm giving you. There'll be a video that will go up each week. I'll go, this is it. And it might be a fitness bundle and it's all clothes. And what I wanna know is why do you want it or what can you do with it? Now you don't have to do, that doesn't have to be a sad story. You don't have to pay it forward every time. I'd like you to think about, oh my God, you know, there's a, that single mum on there that lives five doors down, she's got four kids. This would be great for her. Tell me about her. But it doesn't have to be that. It might just be, oh my God, I would love that. I have always dreamed of owning something like that. It's okay to just want something for you as well. Uh, it might be a husband going, oh my God, my wife would love that. In the comments, just tell me why. You can at people, you don't have to, but you might go at Peter, what about the church? Does the church need this? I mean, I've got, I've got one daughter moving to America in August. I'm clearing out a bedroom. I've got beautiful bunk beds up there. Some of these things are going to have to be local only. I will pay for postage anywhere in the world. Large items and services will have to be for locals, basically. And then once you've been chosen, we'll move it to direct messages so I can get all your details, addresses, and things like that. All right, one thing I need from all of you. Once a year, I am going to do a massive fundraiser. This year, I'm aiming between 1st of May to the 1st of June. My birthday. This is when you can please throw at me whatever charities you, you are thinking. My goal is to raise 50,000 pounds, dollars, euros, depends what, what charity we're supporting. A year. That is when I ask you to put your hand in your pocket, two pounds, three dollars. Instead of that coffee, please donate. And this is when you can please send me whatever charities that, that you are passionate about. I've got a few in my head, but I will go through my process to pick the charity that I feel is right for right now. And we do that fundraiser together. And then I continue through the year just giving away whatever, I, whatever I've whatever i got, whatever I don't need. And there's a lot 
you know, if you actually just stop and go through your cupboards and you look at stuff, and I look at stuff and go, I've not worn that for six months, it's gone. I'm gifted a lot of things and quite often, you know, I know that they want me to post it and I won't unless I, I, I really like something. I'm, I'm grateful and I'll send a thank you so much. So I have things that are gifted to me, what do they want? They would like me to make, you know, brand awareness. So they're still going to get that but it's paying it forward. So for example, I was sent a beautiful necklace and it's silver and I will never wear it and I'm going to give it away. Anything I give away, I will at the brand and hashtag the brand. The idea with that is a ripple effect. And so then brands will start to, I know they will, they'll send me things to give away to you. I know there's so many local businesses here too, services, it might be, you know, in a month's time, Providence will say, Kelly, let's give away, I'd like to do a 300 pound meat hamper. That's local, right? That would have to be sent locally. When I start my fundraiser and you all put your hand in your pocket and don't buy that three pound coffee, you can come and donate it to the charity we've chosen. What I also see happening, I know will happen, especially locally, all the businesses, especially the ones that have already supported me with Dance for Sick Kids, they will get involved and donate. And I also believe a lot of brands will too. But what those businesses have to do is dance and donate. So they will, there'll be a minimum donation and of course a dance reel because it just makes it fun too. And that's also getting their brand out, it's awareness, but it's also showing that they're doing something good. And that's what we all wanna do, right? So that's my plan, Stan. And I'm super excited. So we're gonna get started next week. You gotta see, you gotta understand, I've got a room full of stuff to give away. There's no order to this. It's just like, right, let's do this. It's cold, someone might need this jacket. It's ski season. This might help someone that, that can't afford it or the child is going on a ski trip. You know, the school's paying for the trip or it might be a bursary student, you need ski clothes. I've got computers from the computers that they used to have to buy from their school. I'm having them wiped, give them away, you know, for a, a child that needs a computer at school. And I'm sure this one in particular will be quite compatible. Anyway, I'm just going on and on, but you get it, right? So I'm gonna give something away every week and we're going to continue to do this. You're gonna help me. You're gonna pay it forward or keep it for yourself. And there's a hashtag, Memo TV, pay it forward. That will be in all of my postings as well. So then you can just tap on it and you can see everything we've given away. There'll be a video on what I'm giving away and then you're on. Comments, comments, comments. I'll choose, I'm gonna make that quite quick. You know, and if no one wants something I'm giving away, I will find a, a good home for it. And then that's it. Then we'll do the exchange, I'll get it to you, and we'll just keep this flow, keep it open. And don't forget, once you've got the goods, the gift, whatever item it is, all I ask is you send me a photo with you or whoever's received it, a photo and a smile, so I can post it and just share that with everybody else. And if there's a lesson in this, I hope I can teach people how to give, you know, just without wanting anything back. Just give. There's always someone that has less than what you have. I have enough. Okay, bye.